ever wondered how, how your food choices could be silently raising your blood pressure? It's a question that might seem a bit daunting, but it's an important one to ask. You see, high blood pressure or hypertension, as it's medically known, is a condition where the force of blood against your artery walls is consistently too high. Over time, this can lead to health complications, including heart disease and stroke. One of the main contributors to high blood pressure is, in fact, our food habits. Unhealthy food choices, particularly those high in sodium and low in nutrients, can cause our blood pressure to creep up over time, from the fries at your favorite fast food joint to the prepackaged meals in your freezer. These foods might be convenient, but they could be taking a toll on your health. So, are you ready to make a change? Let's dive into the eight foods that are high blood pressure's best allies. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Marlene Nanda Rosana, nurse practitioner and certified functional medicine coach. I am excited to share with you today about foods that we should avoid if we have high blood pressure. Um, first on our list is processed food, a silent culprit behind many health issues. Processed food is often high in sodium, a known contributor to high blood pressure. Sodium makes your body hold onto water, increasing the amount of fluid your heart has to pump and putting strain on your blood vessels. Mm. This strain can lead to high blood pressure and eventually heart disease. Next, we have refined sugar. While it might make your morning coffee taste better, it's not doing your health any favors. Too much sugar can lead to weight gain and being overweight is a significant risk factor for high blood pressure. Additionally, consuming high amounts of sugar can lead to insulin resistance and this condition has been linked to an increase in blood pressure. Now let's delve into some scientific backup. Uh, according to a study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association, processed foods contribute to nearly 60% of calories and 90% of added sugars in the American diet. This shows how pervasive these unhealthy foods are and why it's so important to be aware of their potential impacts on our health. Our third food to avoid is alcohol. Overconsumption of alcohol can lead to weight gain. And as we discussed earlier, being overweight can increase your blood pressure. Alcohol can interfere with the effectiveness of certain blood pressure medications, making it harder for you to manage your condition. Lastly, for this part, we have uh, processed and deli meats. Um, these foods are often high in sodium and saturated fats. As we know, sodium can increase your blood pressure by causing body to retain water. Saturated fats, on the other hand, can raise your cholesterol levels. High cholesterol can lead to uh, a buildup of plaque in your arteries, which narrows them and makes it harder for your heart to pump blood, leading to high blood pressure. So there you have it. The first four of our unhealthy eight processed food, refined alcohol, and processed or deli meats. Each of these foods can contribute to high blood pressure in different ways, but understanding why it can help you make healthier choices for your heart. But wait, there's more. Let's move on to the next set of foods that you might want to reconsider. Continuing with our list, fried food is another major offender. This doesn't just mean your favorite fast food fried chicken. It also includes any food that's been deep fried, such as French fries and donuts. These foods are typically high in trans fats, 
a type of fat that raises your bad cholesterol levels while lowering your good cholesterol levels, leading to an increase in blood pressure. Next up, fast food. It's quick, it's convenient, and let's face it, it's often delicious. But it's also loaded with sodium, unhealthy fats, and calories. This lethal combination can lead to obesity, a major risk factor for high blood pressure. And let's not forget the large portion sizes which can contribute to overeating. Moving on, we have pre-packaged frozen meals. These quick fix dinners may seem like a lifesaver on a busy night, but they come at a cost. They're often packed with sodium to enhance flavor and prolong shelf life. High sodium intake is directly linked to high blood pressure. So it's best to keep these meals to a minimum. Finally, canned foods. While they may be a pantry staple, they're a no-no for those with high blood pressure. Many canned, including soups, vegetables, and even meats are loaded with sodium for preservation. And just like prepackaged frozen meals, this high sodium content can lead to an increase in blood pressure. Now let's delve into the realm of scientific that supports our claims. Study published in the British Journal of Nutrition discovered that consumption of fried foods was associated with a higher risk of heart disease. Similarly, research in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition reveals a correlation between high sodium intake from fast foods and an increase in blood pressure. And um, the story doesn't end there. An analysis in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics also showed that prepackaged meals and canned foods having high sodium content were linked to hypertension. Remember, this doesn't mean you can never indulge in your favorite treats. It's all about balance and moderation. Enjoying these occasionally won't harm you. Uh, it's the consistent daily intake of these foods that can lead to health issues, including high blood pressure. Knowing is half the battle won. The power of change is in your hands or rather on your plate. It may seem overwhelming to overhaul your diet, but remember, even small steps can make a big difference. Start by choosing one food you can do without and swap it for a healthier option. It could be as simple as replacing that packet of chips with a fresh fruit. Imagine the positive ripple effect this could create. Your healthier choices might inspire friends and family to do the same. And this isn't just hearsay. Scientific studies back these claims. For instance, a study in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association found that dietary changes can significantly reduce blood pressure in just two weeks. So why not share video with them? You never know who could benefit from this information. And while you're at it, why not make these health conscious choices a regular part of your life? To help you on this journey, we'll be posting more videos like this one. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more health conscious content. Stay healthy, stay informed.